I'm Miranda, and I'm just wondering, does the food taste the same in orbit as it does on Earth? Miranda, uh, at first, no. And it's not because of the food. It's because when you first get to space, uh, gravity, of course, is not pushing the blood to your feet anymore, No, because you're basically weightless. So your body has learned over your whole lifetime to squeeze the blood up to your head so you don't faint. And that's kind of fighting, because normally your body has to work against gravity, and it doesn't recognize immediately there's no gravity. So your body keeps squeezing the blood up to your head, but no gravity to push it back down again. So your head sort of inflates like someone was squeezing the bottom of a balloon. And so your head fills up with fluid, and your sinuses fill up. And so when you first get to space, within a little while, you're all clogged up and sinus plugged up. So you can't even taste your food. And that lasts several days until your body finally gets to equilibrium. And then the food tastes about the same. And I have uh, Canadian food right here that folks were nice enough to send up to me, which uh, just came up on the Dragon spaceship recently. But I have a lot of nice uh, food. I have uh, Canadian maple cookies. Uh, I have a smoked salmon pate, some Canadian chocolate. Uh, look at this, a tube, a tube of maple syrup, which uh, is a real treat up here. Really high quality maple syrup. And from not too away, far away from you guys from Saskatchewan, I have some uh, buffalo jerky right here. Cranberry flavored buffalo jerky. And, uh, and we even have something from the East Coast here with the uh, blueberry um, granola bar. So we have lots of food. Uh, it keeps us healthy. It uh, tastes good, and it also, it's a really important social time of the day when you can get together, talk about what everybody's doing, and, uh, and relax, and, and really try and share the human part of being in space. Food's, food's good up here.